Reason has some excellent synthesizers, so what I'm going to do is just walk you through the process of making a bass patch. Obviously there are lots of great presets which you can use and edit yourself, but here's a quick example of how to make a bass patch from scratch. I'm going to drag in an instance of the Subtractor Analog Synth, and then I'm going to reset the device by selecting it and going Edit Reset Device. So what I should have now is a basic wave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my oscillators here and I'm going to start to build up a sound. So that sounds pretty cool already. All I've done is created a couple of oscillators, change the waveform and change the octave settings for these two oscillators. I could add some noise. I could apply some filtering to make it sound fat. Change the filter type. Could apply a second filter. I'm not sure I like that noise, so I'm going to turn it off. Play about with the filter envelope. Could even apply some LFO if I wanted. That's being applied to oscillators 1 and 2 at the moment, but I could apply it to other things like the filter frequency. You might have twigged that that's how you would work on creating a dubstep bass. You can use LFOs to modulate things like filter frequency. That already sounds pretty cool. And then if I wanted, I could bung some effects on it. I could maybe put a bass guitar module on it. Maybe turn the dry wet down a bit. And there you go, that's a really simple way to create a bass patch. Obviously, the more complex the synth, the more options you have. Subtract is pretty straightforward but that didn't take long at all. So all you really have to understand initially is oscillators, filters, LFOs, and then maybe an effect.